The Earth is swallowing up its oceans and it's very worrying. This is translated from a Greek article. The Earth is uh, eating its surface and is swallowing the water of the seas and the oceans to digest them better. And that could be a fictional wording, but it's rather worrying finding uh, rather than a funny one. And according to life science scientists at the Lamont Doherty Earth Observatory at Columbia University, they made a shocking discovery. Most po popularly reported studying by nature se seismic rifts in the Mariana Trench were where the slab of Pacific slides beneath the Philippine slab. Researchers were able to estimate how much water was incorporated into the rocks beneath that. The groundwater cycle. Water is stored in the crystalline structure of the minerals. It's in incorporated into the Earth's crust both when brand new oceanic plates form and when the plates themselves bend and crack as they rub against each other. This last process, called excitation, is the only way water penetrates deep into the crust and the mantle. But little is known about how much water moves during this process. Before doing this study, the scientist said, every researcher knew that water had to be transported from the degrading plate, but he just didn't know how much water was moving, end quote. The researchers used data collected from a network of seismic sensors located around the Mariana Trench in the Western Pacific Ocean. The deepest part of the ditch is almost seven miles deep below sea level. The sensors detect the earthquakes and echoes of earthquakes that hit the Earth's crust and make it ring like a bell. Kai and his team monitored how fast the data traveled. A slowdown, he said, would indicate water in the cracks in the rocks and hydrated metals that lock water into the crystals. The researchers noted that such slowdowns dip deep into the crust, about 30 kilometers below the surface, using the measured velocities along with known temperatures and pressures there. The team calculated that the pressure zones draw 3 billion tetragrams of water into the crust every 1 million years. One tetragram is one billion kilograms. Simply put, the amount of water lost is three times the amount previously estimated and calculated. Three times more. And that raises some questions. Where is so much water going? As the amount of water cannot be lost, then most likely it's that the water mixes with the magma. It should logically return, possibly through volcanic eruptions. This means that the amount of water lost under the crust should be the same as the amount returned above ground, of course, most likely from volcanic eruptions. And of course, that doesn't sound so good to our non-scientific ears, but scientists point out that they lack many elements that would lead them to better and more accurately estimate, as they do not have any indication of how water moves inside the Earth. But the general conclusion is, as the Earth's tectonic plates dive beneath each other, it appears to drift three times more water from the seas and the o or the oceans into the interior of the planet than previously thought. The water beneath the surface of the Earth is said to contribute to the development of the magma and thereby making earthquakes more likely to bring the trapped water back to the surface. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. 
and we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.